Hello, and welcome to an interesting story about mud. Red mud, that is. You may remember this natural disaster in Hungary way back in 2010. In case you don't, it was headline news across the world. And what happened was a dam belonging to an aluminium factory collapsed, resulting in a whole lake of red mud spilling out everywhere. Now this red mud is actually the waste byproduct of aluminium production. And although it's called waste, it does actually contain many valuable ingredients. In this glass, really rare earth metals like neodymium, yttrium, scandium, a whole host of other scarce metals, as well as the old boys, iron and aluminium. Together, these elements are key to the clean technologies of tomorrow. Electric cars, wind turbines, new batteries, you name it, they will all use these indispensable metals. Now, even though it looks like a sort of mutant Bloody Mary, this cocktail is actually full of valuable stuff. And the best news is that we've got plenty of it. Experts reckon that there are no less than 250 million tonnes. Yes, you heard correctly, 250 million tonnes of red mud. That is the equivalent of not one Eiffel Tower, but 25,000 Eiffel Towers, all filled up with the red stuff. And on top of that, it's in endless supply, as we keep on producing around 500 more Eiffel Towers of red mud every single year. But what can we do with it all, you may well ask? Well, with the new mud to metal technology that we're developing in Europe, we can recover all of the valuable metals hidden inside, and the remaining residues are magically transformed into cement-like building materials, which can all be used for the construction of tomorrow's eco-friendly homes today. So in short, we can recycle everything, which is a huge step towards a zero waste society. Hooray! And on top of all of that, mud to metal is an environmentally friendly European alternative to classic mining. And on that great news, I'll drink to your health and that of the planet. Cheers. Are you sure it's safe to drink this stuff? Oh well, at least I'm doing my bit for the environment.